This video demonstrates angioplasty and stenting of a high-grade stenosis of right external iliac artery in a 51-year-old female who presented with complaints of lifestyle-limiting claudication. Her symptoms started right after a cardiac catheterization. She was found to have a dissected right external iliac artery leading to high-grade stenosis. She had a CTA chest abdomen and pelvis performed that demonstrated this dissection in the external iliac artery. As mentioned before, this led to a high-grade stenosis resulting in lifestyle limiting claudication. Decision was made to take the patient to the operating room for a abdominal iotogram, pelvic angiogram and a right lower extremity angiogram. We began our procedure by using ultrasound guidance and fluoroscopic guidance to access the left common femoral artery. This artery was accessed with a mini stick needle followed by the wire and micropuncture sheath. The artery as mentioned before was accessed under ultrasound guidance. We then upsized to a 5 French sheath and a flush catheter was introduced into the abdominal aorta. In our case we used a contra catheter for our abdominal aortogram and pelvic angiogram. The catheter was then formed in the abdominal aorta and was placed roughly at the level of L3 vertebrae to perform our abdominal aortogram and pelvic angiogram. This is demonstrated here. We then proceeded with performing our abdominal aortogram and pelvic angiogram. This demonstrated a high grade stenosis of the right external iliac artery just at the level of the pelvic brain. It was present at the distal segment of the external iliac artery. Next, a glide wire was then used to gain contralateral access as demonstrated in this video. The catheter was seated on the aortic bifurcation and advanced into the right common iliac artery. The wire was then removed and we performed a repeat angiogram to better delineate anatomy. Next, we used a soft angular glide wire to cross this high grade stenosis in the external iliac artery and advance our wire down through the CAM1 femoral artery into the right superficial femoral artery. The catheter was then advanced and the wire was then also advanced in the proximal superficial femoral artery. We then advanced our catheter into the proximal superficial femoral artery and then over the catheter exchange for a stiff angle glide wire so that we can introduce our 6 French sheath. At this point in time the patient was heparinized and a 6 French sheath was introduced in the right common iliac artery. This was done to provide support. This was followed by introduction of a 5 mm balloon to perform pre-dilatation of this high grade stenosis in the external iliac artery. The balloon was inflated to the nominal pressure and the right external iliac artery was then balloon angioplasty. We then brought in a 6 by 2.5 cm self-expanding Vyavan stand graft. This stenosis resulted from an external iliac artery dissection. The stent was then deployed as demonstrated here. We then brought in a 6 mm balloon and post dilated this stent. This resulted in good apposition of the stent graft to the wall of the arteries. Repeat angiogram then demonstrated resolution of the stenosis and brisk flow through the iliofemoral system and a three vessel runoff to the foot. This concludes our video demonstration of right external iliac artery balloon angioplasty and stenting.